Thank you for joining me this evening. Sandra London, our guest for the remainder of the show. Sandra has appeared on national and international television dozens of times. She was the focus of a 2000 biopic by Errol Morris that aired in his first-person series in the U.K. and U.S.A. Sandra produced five exclusive stories for A Current Affair and associate produced a 2012 documentary, My Brother, the Serial Killer, best known for her studies of serial killers. She also co-authored The Making of a Serial Killer and Killer Fiction. Her new book, Good Little Soldiers, a Memoir of True Horror, is told to her by Diane Fitzpatrick, and we've been hearing this very strange story start to unfold all right, now that we've got the basics and the groundwork for the story laid out, uh, explain to me what starts to happen to these children and, and how this turns into a real, I mean, just unbelievable nightmare. The things that were happening to Diane and Stephen in real life started before the point where the book begins. Let me just say a word about this as a book, if you don't mind. Sure. Um this is a memoir of true horror. Uh, it's true. And it's about crime, yet it's not true crime, because true crime is a genre that's defined by having headlines, right? And that that's the, the marketing structure for true crime, is that it's, you know, ripped from the headlines. This is a uh, not that kind of a story, uh, because our perpetrator was never convicted of any crime. Uh, and so, therefore, you don't have the the classic structure uh, of a true crime book where you, you, you know, reasonably expect the forces of good to triumph, right? And there's a cop, and it's solved, and then uh, the whole book itself is laid out in terms of what uh, enters into the public record of uh, a trial, so, therefore, working with this type of material is a completely new challenge for me. Um, I, over the course of, uh, from 2003 until the time I finally came out with this book, I dealt with it for years uh, in terms of, you know what, I can't do it because I can't prove it. Because there's a firewall on true crime journalism. And it, it, I just felt like, oh, I can't do it. And that years went by, and I was just, I couldn't forget it. And I was so touched by Diane's character and these children and the, and the incredible journey they went through as a story. Uh, and then also, um, as all of the things that, were, that I became uh, aware of about his criminal history, it was quite an uh, education in terms of a case history when I started out, I was putting it together almost like a, a true crime, like a case history. It had everything in it. I had to take half of it out because it can only be one book long. And so what remains from the work that I did is a story. It's a tale. It's like a, you know, a fairy tale. It's like a story. It's told in the voice of Diane. And Diane is a six-year-old child, a very sensitive and very imaginative and, in fact, learned to dissociate because of the trauma she's had to live with. It's written mm -hmm. in her voice. So I'm right. prepared to talk any way you want about uh, what really happened or, you know, kind of like how does the book go or... Uh, well, we'll cover that when we return then. Yes, talk to me about how the book goes and, and any bits of information, even that you didn't include in the book. But, uh, you know, I want you to evolve the story for us in the in the remaining time we have together. Uh, we'll do that when we return. Sandra London, our guest here on Coast to Coast AM.